Hey guys, Scottish Gamer Guy here, back for another episode, episode 6 I think it is, uh, stage 2 of the tutorial, I think I've gathered enough gold now, like right, that mammoth hole turned it into like a ginormous mammoth hole, I don't even know what to call it, but um, I think I've mined enough gold, $1200 an ounce, 65 ounces, we need to get 510k, I know in the last video, and I did check this, the last video was 482 for some reason it's jumped up to 510 I don't know why but it's one of these things I'm just going to have to live with but I'm going to head over to the blacksmith so probably see he's over there and see how much we get for this gold and finally finish this part of the tutorial here we go boys back at the blacksmiths it's been a long time since I've been here trust me I've just been digging and digging and digging I think it took me 65 to 70 buckets through the magnetite separate on the wave table to, to get this amount of money. I mean, I've found no nuggets of gold as well. Yeah, so it's letting me smelt the whole 65. It's going to take seven hours and cost me 6,400. <laughs> yeah, it's going to cost me 6,467 dollars and I lose six and a half ounces just over. Smelt that, first time loading, so here we go. Every time you load the game, guys, you get a free gold bar. Well, not a free gold bar, but it just doesn't take as much time. We head over to the bank, cash this in. What time is it? 3 in the morning, it should be getting sunny, sunny soon. Sunny soon, is what I meant to say. I'll leave these bloopers in here, like, I could cut them out, but fuck it. I'll leave them in. Right. Let's go into the wank. I mean the bank. Meant that one. Right. Sell <laughs> gold bars. 70 grand we're getting. Just under 70k. I'll take that. And here we go guys. As soon as we exit here. Boom. Stage 2. Done. And there you probably get an achievement. But I've done it before. So. So it's still mate. Go and upgrade. Pass. Upgrade parcel in old coin bank. You can use the tab, but it'll drive back to town. Well, <laughs> I'm in town anyway, so I'm stopping here. So it's wanting me to upgrade my parcel. Oh, for the new equipment. I see. Oh shit, I just about bought that. Like, I, like wow. I pushed like left stick. My bad. So 20 grand to upgrade. That would have reset to... Wow! That would have reset the parcel to default. You remember that for next time. Anyway, let's head over to the machine store. Buy some shiny new equipment. Even though it looks rusty as hell. Like, if I was coming to look at this, I'd be wanting some money off. I'd be, like, barting them down. I'd be like, you know, a little bit of rust there. You know, this needs a bit of work. That needs a bit of work. Not quite 20 grand off it, please. But anyway. Let's get in here, let's buy this equipment, the first thing, the shaker. 76,000, I'll take that. A duplex jig, for 34,500, I'll take that please. I, th I thought it was, see with the dot, I thought it was going to give me the reinforced trauma. That's like, wow. 431,000 to 242,000. No, that's only 24,000. Wow. Yeah, we get minimum gold out of this ground using trommels and things like that. So you want the best equipment for the game, so... Is that same by one or by two? By one. By one? Okay. Right. It's gonna give me what I call a donkey setup. It's just gonna give me the basic. Like one of everything. Big power generator over the back here. Uh, I think in the first video as well, you see me wandering about looking for the Frankenstein machine away in the back there. And on the PC version before the patch, that's where it was. And all these machines, like here, were sort of like covered with tarps so you couldn't like buy them or see them. So they changed the layup of this a little bit. But Another fun fact about Gold Rush. 
as well as an enormously long loading screens. And they're getting a bit better, but let's go ahead. Buy all that, please. Make sure and go to the transport window, or you arrive all the way back at the claim and realise that you know you need to you need to drive back to town to order everything again. So order that transport. It cost me six thousand to transport everything. Quite happy with that. Oh, still me to buy the front end loader. Later on, that's like one of the machines that becomes invaluable. That, the rock truck, is like the main way that like, I make my money in gold rush when I set up a career, but... Um, if I know he's buying at checkout, got that. Transport that for another 1500. And it's telling us to try to hold down our parcel. Okay. I don't know why it's not just telling me to pick up the parts when I'm in town, you know, like the cables and connections and things like that. So here we go, back out old Arnold Parcel, see if I can get past this rock again. Oh, it's hit the edge yet, but still taking a W for that. So here we go, our shiny new equipment. It's telling us to drive up here. Okay, so unlock the equipment store on the tablet. So this tablet um, is basically where you come to, right, I'll show you in the menu. Instead of going to like, the shop, the store and things like that, or the bank, you can go there. But the only thing about if you come here, one you need to spend money to unlock it. So it's telling me to unlock the equipment store for twenty thousand. Now, even though I've unlocked the equipment store, which is what you buy the equipment that you'd be able to get in the store, um, it's expensive. It's a like totally like, unrealistically expensive. Might as well just drive back to town. So buy a big transport crate. So here, for example, right, equipment store it should be in parts. I think. Accessories. I think the smaller items you could probably buy for here. And the the thing about this is when you buy the items for here, it delivers it straight to like your camp, so you don't need to drive to town. But they are in store, as you can see in the middle there. It's one hundred and fifty one dollars. If I order it, it's one hundred and ninety six dollars. So yeah, the more money you spend on an item, the more the tax you basically dropping it off. So I never really do it after I set up. Buy four five millimeter cables. The cabling system as well guys is uh, I'll tell you here that I need to buy the five meter. Um tell you now I just always buy the big one. The big one can do like as much, I think it's seven meters. Yeah, seven meter cable. I mean, I need to buy these just because it's a tutorial, and if I don't, then it will just end up glitching out. But after this, then I'll end up just buying the 7 meter cables because they just, like, run everything. For the smallest to the biggest equipment, you, no matter what it is. Here we go, so we've got four chains. Ahead, get these into the crate. And hopefully start moving equipment. Hopefully it gets white here soon because I hate moving equipment when it's dark. Um, attach TDJ sluice to excavator. So this sluice box here. So let me look at this because you need to pick it up a certain way. That's another thing. In normal mode you need to be accurate way where you're placing your equipment on easy mode you can just like roughly guesstimate where you're going to be putting it and it'll just snap into place it's unrealistic so these are on that side so i need to come for that side okay another quick tip is my excavator's down there so what i'll do is i'll just go into there 
um, using the select on the Xbox controller. Click on the excavator and then just push Y and then that will put it closer to me. And there we go, the excavator spawns next to me. So it just saves a lot bit of time to drive the excavator. Everybody knows the excavator is slow as fuck. That is like the slowest machine in the world when it gets moving. some lights on. Okay, so now that I'm getting the excavator close, what I want to do is just put the bucket down and I want to try and keep them as close to the middle as possible, but <laughs> with it doing that there. And yeah, just want to try and keep it in the middle so when I put the chains on it, it's kind of close. Just makes things easier, especially with these five meter chains, because I'm missing like two meters of, of length, and that's a big deal. Trust me, when you're transporting the bigger equipment. But I've tested this out, and I can actually do this whole tutorial just with the five five meter cables. Got off track there. I don't know if they've done a patch for this on the Xbox version, but like, I seem to be a, like, a lot more smoother, like, like fluid to be moving like, objects and connecting them and stuff. I don't know if that's a patch or if it's just them playing the game a little bit too much, but there we go, we got that hooked up, so jump in the excavator. And what I do is I lift it up and then extend the boom out as well. And I just leave it there. So it's as high up as possible, it ain't hitting nothing. When you go down hills, it seems to dip down. So where I want to go with this is up the top bit here. Another little tip is keep it off the, you know those well, the wooden like slats on the ground, the wooden markings. Keep off them because if you go over them, you just move it like 0 0.0.2 miles an hour. So like this, I must be going over something here a hose or something but if you get stuck in that it's just annoying just go ahead make sure we've got a setup so in normal mode you want to bring it up here snap on mode you can take it wherever you can throw it for the other side of the claim for all the game gears and it will just snap in its place but I'm a norm playing a normal mode and I just fucked that up big time Right, now I need to go down there. I thought that was the Swiss box. Right. Really? If I can't, I'm going to need to rechain. This is sketch as. There we go. So it snapped into place, but it needs to be the right direction. That was so lucky. I thought I was picking up the Swiss box that goes right, right underneath where the arm is now. I'll show you later on, but. Fuck. Anyway, head back over here, attach sluice, ST sluice box to the excavator with steel cables. So ST is sluice to trommel, that is. Yep, sluice to trommel. Oh, I'm going over these wooden things. Okay, maybe I lied, maybe you can go over them, but... Last time I did it, it slowed me down to like a snail's, snail's pace. Okay. So this is a bucket, right. Have a look at this guy just for two seconds. Right, so that's a bucket, that's it out. And ah, just went man.
Hit the parking brakes on it's still moving. Right, um, so this is the one I need to take in for the top, so I need to take in from this side. Once again just try and get the the boom of the excavator roughly in the middle. Go ahead and jump all out. Another little tip is you know if the chains are all the way down there inside the ground. You know, sometimes right they can be hidden underneath things. So what I do is I just come up here, disconnect, reconnect, and then there we go. Because sometimes finding the chains, like, sometimes it will like, clutch underneath the ground and things like that. There we go. Hopefully we've got this hooked up in the right way. So for this I'm going to need to go up the top and this is spot one, I thought it was the last one. So, come up this top end here, so here we go. Right, so I want to try and move up on top of this hill a little bit. Oh, it's struggling. Okay, let's see roughly where we are. No, oh, I need to be closer. Surely, come on. Come on. Okay, note to self. <laughs> Put it in the wrong way. Wow. So if you have to do it for the bottom way, which I don't recommend, I recommend doing it for the top way, but obviously that plan went down with the fucking Titanic. I'm hoping just somehow, some way that just that it clips into place when I push it up here. Come on, you can do it. You can. Yes! There we go boys, I do not recommend doing it that, just look at that and look at that out, the out is the one closest to the top end, the out is obviously leading down to the sluice box down the bottom, I just read that wrong completely, I don't even know how, but anyway, <laughs> I think that's like the hardest, the hardest piece apart from the trauma. In fact, the trommel's easy because the trommel's got a motor on the side of it and like, it needs to be at a certain position, so. I don't know why that confused me there. It's not like, hard to confuse me, but <laughs> I just done this like a few hours ago. Like, I done this. <laughs> oh, but anyway, gives me a laugh, guys. Gives me a laugh. Let's do it. Let's do this, boys. I thought, you know, I'll make a video on this. Like, um, <laughs> not make a video. Like, I'll do a playthrough of this and, you know, I'll be on top because I'll know, like, right, what to do. Like, right, where things go, where to hook up, where the chain goes. And the first two things that I put in, I fuck up. Anyway, so this one you want to take straight on. If you want to listen to my advice, take it straight on. But if not, at least you'll learn the wrong way. So, one way or another, you're going to learn the right way. If I do this right, or <laughs> I'll tell you the way if I do it wrong. But. So with this one we're going to need to set it down and uh, relocate the chains just the way that it was sitting there. I don't know, I might be able to get it. No, I, I ain't even fucking with that, fuck it. Right, let's go ahead and disconnect the chains. I need to relocate the excavator to a better position. 
just so I've got a side on like crap. Okay, so what we want to do is sort of like move the excavator over. So we're side on. This makes things a lot, lot easier. I don't want to snap no chains. If you snap chains, it's just a nightmare. There we go, in the middle. Um, No, I'm missing a chain. I'm missing two chains. No, I'm not. Fuck's my chain. I can't do my bone chain. Yeah, so just make sure the ends to the right hand side and the outs to the left hand side. So next is the trauma, but the first I need to But first I need to jump out and find this chain. Yeah, there's a chain. Yo scally bag. Anyway, let's head over and get the trommel. So here we go. So the trommel is probably the biggest piece of machinery. It's what you really need the 7 meter cables for. I mean, you can date with the 5 meter cables, but it's just a little, you'll see here it's a little bit, you're fucking about. But what you want to do is, you, if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, you want this motor here to be on the right hand side. Just for placement, for where for where we're gonna go. So, I've never actually done this first time without having to like readjust like that, the harm. That seems to be going a little bit too well. There we go. So the cable's too short on that end, which means I need to move the arm over. So I've got that one, I just need to nudge it a tiny little bit to the left. There we go, we got the trommel on, so let's head over to where the trommel is going to spend the rest of its days before it gets junked for the reinforced trommel. But that's a few episodes away guys. So remember as well guys that this is just like a, a guide for normal. Like if you're playing the game mode on easy then if you've got like easy placement helper on oh, that's <laughs> you can do it whatever way you want. Like I said you could like volley or throw the piece of machinery for the other side of the claim and it would still land in the, the place where it needs to go. Whereas this it needs to be in the the direction it's going to be seated in and roughly I think you've got a little bit of centimetres like clearance like it'll snap into place a little bit but there we go but it's like if I'll show you here if that motor wasn't on that side and then it just wouldn't snap into place one bit and if you don't know that and you play the game and you just decide to play normal mode and you're like why is this not working that's why. Anyway, let's get over, get a duplex jig. Take that down the bottom, hook that up. Uh, so with the duplex jig on normal mode, you want to set it up this way. So there's like a little tunnel, a little nozzle that needs to be pointing towards your excavator. Again, roughly in the middle, low enough so you can like reach up to here to grab the steel cable and attach it to the, the point. 
unlike that fail there. Hey, when that happens. Oh, Woosa. Woosa. Once again, extend that bucket out. And that will just show you there. Right, if you've got a 7 meter cable. And you'll be scraping the ground with it. But it's still doable. It's still doable. Let's go ahead, get the duplex jig over. You want to head down this bottom bottom direction here where your wave table and gold nugget separator is. That's if you put it in the places that I showed you where to put it. I've seen a lot of videos of people putting things in some fucked up places and <laughs> I just do it the most practical way that I think is possible. I've got a ton of shit down here. So it wrecked about 20 buckets. I'll clear up here before next episode guys. I just want to get this set up and the tutorial finished and then probably stage 3 wash plant set up in this video. There we go. Head back over, get the shaker. The shaker. Used to get called the Shaker Deck for some reason. I think that's through watching the uh, Gold Rush on uh, Discovery Channel. They call it Shaker Deck. A Shaker Deck or a D Rocker, but D Rocker's like light years away, guys. That's to infinity and beyond. So here we go back at the Shaker. This is one of the most annoying pieces of equipment to move. It is seriously annoying. I don't know how easy this is going to go, but wish me luck here. It's in the middle. Yeah, what I do is jump up. Oh, I need that over the middle. Okay, now to get up here, the bit easiest way I find is you come to this edge and just sort of like jump over a tiny little bit. That never failed. So the easiest way I found to get up here is to just like slightly jump. And then you land in the middle. And as long as I can get in here then I can attach them. Just then just duck down. Put that in there. I know it's not like the best way, but it works for me. And I can just hop back out, and there we go. Shaker hooked up, so we go ahead to get the shaker back over. Get this connected up. No water splitters in the way. Should have moved out of the way because that's going to lag me as soon as I try and go over this. Come on, just let me get in. There we go, done. So now we just need to get the power generator. Attach that, put that over in my usual spot. I'll show you where to put it. It uh, tells me to put it in a completely different place, but yeah. So after playing this game for a few times, it sort of like give me the heads up on where we really put things. Okay, so the big power generator. Um, I'll show you where I usually put it. Okay, so usually where I put it is try and keep it as close to this edge as possible, but where I can still get. Get around. No, a little fiddling about, but so I'll take that. I'll take that any day. We've got enough room down there. Sorted. 
No, what are you doing? That's pissed me off, that has. Did it right where I wanted it? There we go, that'll do. Right, there we go. So now it's telling us to buy three buckets. Right, I'm going to drive back to the store and just see if it gives me like a shopping list. Once I get there, but last time I played it through, it made me buy the the app. Twenty grams, a lot of money. Ow! Fuck. Anyway, I'll see you at the shop. Wow. <laughs> I was just driving straight. Guys, yeah, I got punched me out. <laughs> He ain't even moving, he ain't even turning. I ain't even got the jack with me, that's right back at the claim. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that guy, he's got a phone call there, but hey, look at that tyre. It's actually stopped raining. It's no moving at all. And the jack is back at the, the claim, so I'm just going to have to drive it back like this. Right, so I came here to buy three buckets. Even though you've seen the, the big pile of buckets, it's not as if I'm short of like, buckets. But anyway, we'll, we'll entertain the game for the tutorial sake. But uh, buy three buckets. Put two buckets under the duplex jack. Really? And I need to buy a wheel. Here we go, back at old Arnold Parcel again. Can make it through there. Make it through there, but like a wheel busted. You can see it like bouncing there. But just what you get down here, put these two buckets under the duplex jig. Let's go ahead. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get this tutorial finished. So I'll pick up these buckets, yeah. You mean to buy three buckets when I've got like 20 million? So you can put two under and then two in reserve, I'll show you what I mean. Just in case you want to do clean outs like I do, like I just collect like mad amount of buckets, like 10, 20, 30 buckets at a time. So what I do is I just have one on standby there. And because it's locked into that position it won't move like how I can knock them over. I don't think. Get this last bucket. Right, and then of course, if you remember the tutorial for the start with the wash plants completely set up, you remember we had to clean the grates up at the, the top of here and put the concentrate into the bucket. Now this is usually where you catch like your big nuggets of gold, I think. It would make it would make more sense, you know. It comes down there through the shaker, comes down here, into the grates, big gold gets caught, gets washed through there, into the duplex jig, down into the moss mats, where you get your, the finest gold. It's just, that's my logic on it, but by two Right, so here's it where it says the online shop. Okay. The online shop is that it'll rob you. It'll rob you every time. It costs like, I would say, 25% more. Put the equipment stone. What's it telling us to buy? Two high voltage power cables. Order those. Even though I've still got most of this stuff, I need to order it again. So, you'll see I've already got lots of this stuff, but. Like I said, the tutorial just makes you buy it and buy it and buy it. Here we go, so where did I put that crate? Big crates down here, cool. Where the crate comes in handy. I mean, you could always bring the truck down here, but... Well, usually something bad happens when I take the truck out. Plus it's got a punctured wheel and like, <laughs> that's stuck on the fence. Well, right. 
So there we go, so we've got the crate loaded up. Hopefully everything doesn't fall out when I pick it up. Right, I'm coming back for that. I'm dealing with that just now. Right, so we need to connect the shaker. So the power outlet is down here in this right hand corner. Sometimes it can be a wee bit fiddly to find. And you just take this wire, connect it over to one of the blue outlets. Inlets, I mean. And then that will come up there that you've got the shaker connected. And also once you do that in here you'll have an individual button up there. That will just start the shaker on its own. If I push that, nothing else will work apart from the shaker. Um, but if you want everything on at once, then you can just come here and start all. Just a little top tip there for you. If you want to save electricity, if you're only running certain machines, you can switch them on individually. But anyway, connect the trommel. So the trommel does not need water, it only needs power. And that will be that hose. <laughs> that, not that hose, that connector that I left down here. But speed through this, get this back up, get this connected up. So the trommel connection point is down here next to the motor. Run it in there. Now what I usually do is I run it around here and then instead of having a big ugly wire you can just sort of like wind it in. Make it a little bit more neater. Here connect the trommel up. So then we need the oh power cable and that basically we're just running that down to the duplex jig down there um, usually I do a little bit of parkour and just like run and jump I'll show you so if I can do it in one yep there we go what I do is I just jump down here wind it up a little bit just to make it straight connect that up then that sort of like glitches like over the top or underneath, it doesn't affect it whatsoever, it doesn't get tangled or anything like that. So if it was me I would run the wires before I put the machinery in but you know that's just me. But anyway, so we need to go ahead and buy the big diesel water pump for the online shop. This is when you notice the difference, how I was saying that if you buy it for the online shop it costs a lot more money. Uh, this is when we'll notice it. Right, significant amount of money. So the big diesel water pump, that's under trailers. So the big diesel water pump costs $8,072. If I buy it online, it costs me $10,494. Yep, you do the math. I'd rather just drive to town and waste like $10 worth of diesel. So anything you buy for the store will always end up roughly in this area. I'm glitching just now. There we go. It's telling us to put the water pump here. Go ahead, disconnect it. Move the pickup out of the way. Go back to the online shop to get robbed. Again. Buy two huge water hoses. Buy a huge water splitter. So an extra two hundred odd dollars, two hundred and fourteen dollars extra. Buy one fat water hose. I'd throw this stuff out. Do this over pick up um, the hoses we ordered, get all that connected up. Right, but that never worked. Wow. Uh, right. Let's just do this. Quick run back at these two hoses. 
Okay, so what we need to do here is connect the, the inlet, a huge water pose to the inlet, and then just run that into the river. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube and things like that when I watch this video say that, you know, there's no filterization system, how we've got on there. And, you know, it sucks up all the sediment and shit for the bottom of the, the lake. But, it's a water pump, you know, obviously it's got a, filtra uh, a filtration system inside it. So it's taking dirty water in there, it's filtering it and then it's coming out clean. That's the way that I see it, but, r really it should have a filter on it, but understand why it doesn't. So what I need to do is go down and get this water spot. Okay so where I want to put this water spot is I want to try and put it roughly about here. Even there would do. Just move this over. That way. Come down and connect the other big water hose, huge water hose I mean. Go. Go ahead and get the fat water hose, connect that to the splitter which is coming through the water pump and then connect that into the shaker. You just come over here and it should be down in this corner just next to where we put the, the power cord in as well. There we go. Alright, so we need to go buy six miners moss. So make sure it's miners moss that you're not buying and not like um, the, the hog band one. It's an accessories. Comes under parts? No, equipment. My bad, my bad guys. Yeah, so don't buy the hog pan mats. Make sure it's uh, the miners moss that we buy. And purchase six of them for $2,356. Put the miners moss in place. Okay, so go ahead, put that down there. Put these six miners mosses in, and then I think we need to go and get the grates that go over the top of it, and then that, sh that should be us just about ready to put our first load of dirt in. Finish this tutorial. After I finish this tutorial, I'll show you some. Uh, tips and tricks to for the next part to maximise um, your gold earnings for the start. Is that out of the way? Yeah hopefully you will show you a few things and start making some serious money. Getting some serious gold. So there we go. So buy three miners grills. So same again guys, just up here. Jump up the stairs, put that in place. If you have done the tutorial then you will know about taking these off so it's just the opposite yeah, after we've done that first clean out at the very very start of the game. Yep, and it did guys, and it did. The end is close guys, the end is close. Go ahead and these are the grills that come up here um, that catch the gold that comes out the rocker, the D rocker. And then go the last one in place. And fire on everything on a big generator. Switch on the big water pump. Jump in the front end of the loader. If you have reached this point guys, oh, you have reached a milestone. 
Honestly. I'm in the truck. Come on. Stop fucking me, man. We just need to pour some dirt into the shaker. Oh, it feels good being in the front end loader, guys. Being back in a machine that I know. That's how easy it is to get a scoop. But it's making us do it the hard way, guys. We need to load it straight into the shaker. Um, not in the next episode. The next episode, guys, where we finish this up, is... Well, first I'll show you the tutorial ending here, because it's just going to say tutorial's finished. So, right, I'll tip that into that. There we go. The end of the tutorial, guys. So if you have stuck through me through all this, congratulations, you have finished the tutorial. And I did get an achievement, it did pop up in the last one, but that's done that. But do not run any more dirt through the machine. Just listen to me right now, just do not run any more dirt through the machine. In the next episode, I'm going to be showing you how to maximise basically how much gold we can get out. As you can see, it's got a couple of flaws with the setup that we've got here. Come round here. One, we don't have the hopper. <coughs> Two, we don't have the conveyor belt. Coming all the way down to the bottom here. We don't have the hog pan pump and the two sluice extensions. The second duplex jig and the second uh, sluice to trommel to duplex jig. Yep, I'm sure it was that one. Trommel to duplex jig, sluice box with the mats in. So any dirt I put through here just now, about 2%, it's like I'm losing out on 50% of my gold. Probably more, because I've got to put those in anyway. But that was the end of the tutorial, so next next is just going to be the let's play. I'm just going to be showing you a let's play, uh, you know, episodes after the tutorial. Because really now, you want a decent setup. We've got enough money, I do believe, that we can upgrade it to a certain amount. Make sure and hit that like button. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button as well. But anyway, I'll see you on the next one.